On this episode of Eat, Sleep, Drive, we are changing the front end look of my F30. We are going from this to this for less than 50 bucks. Stay tuned guys, I'll show you how. What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Eat, Sleep, Drive, and my 335i still exists. Yes, it hasn't been on my channel in a while, but it's time to give it some love on a budget. I wanted to change the look of the front end a little bit with some subtle mods that I think are pretty tasteful and they just overall make the car look a lot better. Basically what we're gonna be doing today is changing these kidney grills for ones that I bought off Amazon that are all blacked out and I'll show you those in a minute. And also painting these, uh, they're actually referred to as whiskers in the BMW community, no idea why, but changing out these whiskers on both sides, painting them black to basically match the, um, the kidney grills, as they're called. So I think it's overall gonna make the front end of the look of this car a lot sleeker, and it's gonna be cheap, right? These grills, I bought on Amazon for like 45 bucks, and they look pretty nice quality. So on my M235i, I had the like OEM, genuine BMW blacked out grills, and those were like $140. And I was like, I don't really wanna pay 140 bucks for kidney grills, just like a piece of plastic. So I found these on Amazon. The, the quality is actually pretty good. I'll show you guys up close there. The finish, finish is all uniform. Like to be honest, if you put the OEM ones and these in front of each other, I'm not sure I'd be able to tell the difference. Overall, I think it's gonna really make the car look a little more aggressive. So let's dive in, I'll show you guys how to do it and then see if it's worth your $50 to do on your F30. Start it off by popping your hood and make sure you double tap it because you have to double tap it in order to get it released. The first thing we have to do is remove this weather stripping so we can get access to some fasteners behind here. So this just pulls up. As you can see, it just runs along the edge here. So pull that up. Now you have six T30 Torx fasteners to remove. So just go through and remove these guys. Next, there are two T25 Torx fasteners on opposite ends of this little grill here. So remove those. And then we'll be able to remove this sort of upper grill part from the front bumper and we'll be, be able to access the grills, the kidney grills themselves. Now, I have seen some people mention that you could like potentially just try and like reach in here and, and undo these fasteners and whatnot. But honestly, like it's so short to take off these couple fasteners here. Uh, I think there's a, l a lot less likely chance of breaking off something. Um, so I think this is just more the approved way to do it you just basically pull the bumper away from these tabs that you can see here that hold the upper grill in here. Just kind of pry it off. There we go. And now that we got this grill pulled away basically, I'm gonna show you down in here. You see that tab? I shine the light right in your eye so you can't see it. I'll try and point the light down there. See that tab right there? Dead center of the screen, then there's one right under my finger right here. Those are what you need to push down. After some trial and error on that side, I'm gonna show you guys basically the easiest way to do this. Once you have all that top stuff removed, because really you're gonna need that in order to access this easily. Uh, there are some people that claim you can just kind of come in here and, and pull and whatnot. Um, maybe if you have like 20,000 joints on your hand, but not for me. So, kidney grill here. What I'm gonna do is start on this side where uh, you have this sort of end piece here. And I'm gonna start on this tab, push it in, and then work my way this way. So I'm gonna come in here, as you guys will see, push this in, keep pulling this out to keep tension on it, pop this top one, and just, once again, just keeping tension this way because if you let go, it's gonna snap back in place. So just work your way across, and I'll show you guys how it worked for me on the other side. I'm going to push this far side one, and then also this top one. Get your finger yoga on, and you can see it kind of come out a little bit. You need to keep tension on it, 
this way. Otherwise, like I said, it's gonna snap back in place. So keep, keep pulling on it. Now I just press the middle one, you see it come out a little bit more. And the hard part is getting down to these ones at the bottom, but just reach, reach your hand down there. You can see it coming out a little bit more. And just work your way across. There's the middle one. Like I said, it's going better this time than it did on that side. So I got the three bottom ones. Let's do, just should be one more on the top here. There's that one. And then now, just that last one on the middle. Let's see if we can get it. And there it is. So use that method. Like I said, start on this side. Boom, 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 boom. Walk, walk your way across and it will come out. Here's the best part about all this. As much as you struggled uh, with your finger yoga to get that thing out, the nice part is that these, the new ones that you're replacing, just snap in. So you just push it and that is it. It is installed. I'm gonna put this one in, I'm gonna put these fasteners back and then we're done with the kidneys. Now we're on to the whisker. Fortunately, these are a little easier to remove than uh, the kidneys. Strongly recommend getting yourself a pick. Just get your pick under here, pull this down. Now th the left side is different than the right side. This side has like, a, I'm not sure if it's an oil cooler or something over here, so there it allows airflow. The right side, there's another uh, tab right here that you have to pull down. And then this side is, I guess, the hardest part of the whole ordeal. You have to blindly stick your finger back here. Jam your finger in there. It's gonna hurt. Kind of pull it out. You hear a, a crack. Not a crack, but uh, the clip unclipping. You see, this is the part that I just had my finger jammed in there and was pushing on in order to get it out. So these are out, let's paint them up and then put them back on. Now that we have our whiskers off, I'm going to be using this Krylon Fusion. I've had good success with this stuff on plastics. Um, it seems to stick really well. You don't have to do a lot of prep. I hit these with acetone just to clean them off, get all the oils off, get all the dirt and debris off of them. So clean them off first and then hit them with some sort of high quality. I'm doing gloss because I think the gloss black will match the trim a little bit better. So clean them off, hit it with uh, some sort of spray, whatever you prefer. Um, this was like $4 at uh, Lowe's, so I'm going with the Krylon Fusion. For the paint, I put on about four coats, waiting 10 minutes between each coat. And then after the last coat, I waited an hour before handling the whiskers. Install time, now that these are dry, check out that finish. It's actually really close to the kidneys. So, I'm just going to start on this end, line it up, jam it home, boom, looks good. That's it for the install, cue the beauty shots. Well, I appreciate you guys watching as always. I hope you liked the video. I hope you like what I did with my car. I think it looks way better, way, way, way better. Not a big fan of Chrome, especially on BMWs. This looks great. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you wanna follow me in between episodes, you can check me out on Instagram, at EatSleepDriveTV. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you next time. See you guys.